I went to high school, West High School, and, and uh, uh, Dan Gable was the, the premier wrestler back then. And I used to, he used to come to Waterloo all the time because he lived in Waterloo. He would come and work out with the team when we worked out with the team, so I loved working out with the team with him. And I got better every time he came and worked out with the team, so. That's the main, the main reason I came to Iowa State was because Dan was still, he was still here. He was, he was gonna stay, he stayed for two more years after he graduated. So he was right, he was ahead of me. When he was a senior in, in college, I, I was a senior in high school. So I didn't even bother with any of the other schools. I got recruited by a lot of schools because I wrestled in the Junior World Tournament. And uh, so it gave me a lot of exposure and, but I, did, I only went to two campus visits. I went to Oklahoma and I went to Iowa State. I was able to make the team as a freshman, so that was my uh, that was my hope and dream was to make the team as a freshman and be able to wrestle as a, fr as a freshman. So the thing I really loved about it more than anything is back then you people didn't travel that as much as they do now. I mean. And you got to travel. We got to travel. We got we got a West Coast trip and we got an East Coast trip. And so I went two East Coast trips and two West Coast trips. So I got to see a lot of the country. I think the biggest memories was probably the Oklahoma Oklahoma State memories. And I really liked the the old gym, the, the armory, because uh, they used to turn the lights down and. People just it made so much noise. And I came to several meets when I was in high school. And so you kind of get a feeling for it. The same thing happened when I was in high school. You get, you get a feeling for things and it's part of your memory, you know, that you see this stuff and you want to be part of it. And it um, but uh, I think the biggest meets were the Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. We were always, it was such a rivalry. I mean, they had a number of uh, champions on their team, and we actually beat them in, in Norman my freshman year when they had they had they had the, the number one team in the country. So it was it was a they were in shock, you know. <laughs> what really helps is that you have a lot of really good people with you. Like I, I wrestled with Ben Peterson my my uh, sophomore year. I worked out with Ben Peterson, John Peterson and Dan Gable. And they were all, they all ended up being Olympic champions. And that, my, that was my sophomore year. And I, I just kind of, it, my season, I was, it was so, kind of easy for me. Because the wrestling room was, was what was hard. You know, when you got a really competitive wrestling room, the meets are easy. You know, it's like, wow, this is easy, man. <laughs> Compared to what I have to go through every day, you know, so. You know, I mean, it really helps that you've got a good group of guys around you. I was lucky that I had a great group. And I have to include uh, Al Nason, too. He was, uh, he was very competitive, too. And then Keith Abens. Keith Abens was, was good. I worked out with him. I worked out with Al. So it really helped that you had really good people around you. Well, it's something for my kids and my grandkids, I guess. Not so much for me. Uh, just uh, to be remembered, and somebody can say they they knew me.